Starting from this video onwards, we are going to learn our next control structure which is called loop. Loop in the programming context means repetitive execution of the same set of instruction based on some condition. That is, as long as a condition holds true, a set of instruction will execute again and again and again. And when the condition will be false, then it will break the loop and it will execute the rest of the program. The concept of loop can be easily visualized with a real world example as shown in the right hand side of the slide. Let us assume that you took part in a racing competition. And in the competition, it have been told that the race will finish after the lap 4. So, what do you do? You start from the starting point and at the same time, you keep count of the lap. So, at the starting point, when you start the race, you count that lap equals 0. Just like this. Then you start running as it can be shown here. Now, whenever one lap is completed, in the end of that lap, you increment the lap count. That means, after the first, after, so you started from lap zero, after finishing the next lap, you incremented the lap count to one. After finishing the next lap, you incremented the lap count to 2. After finishing the next lap, you incremented the lap count to 3. Like this. And you will keep on running until the lap count hits 4. And whenever it is 4, then your race is finished and you can come out of the racing track. That means the loop or the loop for the race or the lap of the race you can break that. So that is uh, a real world example. Now in the exactly same thing happen in the context of program also. So let us focus on the figure in the left hand side of the slide. Here let us assume this is your Java program. Your Java program executes through this path of instructions. Assume that there are several instructions and your Java program is executing. And after that, it encountered a loop. Loop means what? It encountered a condition and if the condition is true, it will keep on executing a set of instruction as you can see in here. So, what is happening? After encountering the loop, the Java program will keep on executing through this path again and again until this condition is true. So, what is happening? Let's say for the first time, let's say whenever the Java program encountered the loop, the condition is true. So, it went inside the loop. So, it iterated for the first time and then again check the condition. And once it found that, well, the condition is still true, it went inside the loop once again and iterated for the second time. Then again hit the condition over here. And if it found that the condition is still true, it will go inside the loop again. So, what is happening here? Every time in the end of the iteration, it is encountering a condition and if the condition is true, it is staying inside the loop, just like the way I have explained. And whenever, after some iteration, whenever the program will find that, well, the condition is evaluated to false, it will break this loop and come out of the loop and it will start executing through this path that is the rest of the java program so that's the illustrative example illustrative diagram for looping in java program now let us uh, try to focus on a real java program 
as I have shown in this part of the slide. This Java code snippet is actually representing the example that we have just discussed few minutes before. That is the racing track example. So what did you do in your racing track? You have started your lap count from zero. So I have initialized a variable called lap with zero. It's exactly like this line over here. Now, in order to tell the Java compiler that the code is about to entering a loop, you have to use a keyword called while. By saying while, you are saying the Java compiler that well, the program is about to enter a loop. And right after the while, con while keyword, you have to specify how long the program will stay inside the loop. That means what condition should be checked again and again to stay in to execute some set of repeat uh, set of execution repetitively. So here, as I have uh, told earlier, as we have discussed earlier with the racing track example, that uh, the race will be finished after lap equals four. So that means until the lap is less than four, the race will continue. You have to stay inside the track and you have to run again and again and again. In order to represent that run, I have just used one single statement that is a print statement which is just printing run, just depicting the scenario that you are running. Now as I have told, in the end of every lap, you have to increment the lap count. So that is why to represent that fact in the Java program, I have simply incremented the value of lap to lap plus one. So what is happening here, lap count is starting from zero, then it is checking whether zero is less than four, and it found that well, zero is less than four of course, so it went inside the loop, it printed run, and then it incremented the value of lap from zero, 0 plus 1 that is 1 and then after this uh, incrementing the lap count it is again going to this while loop again so and it is checking the condition this time not with 0 but with the value of 1 for the lap so now again it is saying that uh, seeing that well 1 is still less than 4 so let us again execute the lines inside the while loop so it just printed run again that means you are still running and in the end of the loop that is end of your lap you are incrementing the lap count so this time you incremented the lap count from 1 to Two. And after incrementing the lap count, again you went back to this while loop first line. This time again the lap variable is 2. So you checked whether 2 is less than 4 or not. So you have uh, seen that well 2 is still less than 4. So still you have to run. That means you have to execute the statements the instructions inside this loop once again. So what you can do is just you are executing these two lines that is printing run and then you incremented the variable lap count to three. So like this and after the variable value is incremented to three you again went back to the first line of while and you again checked the condition. This time you are checking well three whether three is less than four or not now again you have seen that well three is of course less than four so you have to 
execute the same set of instruction again so that means you printed run once again using the system.out.print and after that you incremented the value of lap so that means this time it will be incremented to 4 so from 3 it is incremented to 4 and after incrementing to 4 it again went back to the while loop and checking the condition but this time what is happening from 3 lap have been incremented to 4 so 4 less than 4 does it make sense no it is not that means this time the condition is false and that is why once the lap variable touches the value of 4 hits the value of 4 that means your race is finished and the condition is evaluated to false and you can simply instead of executing all these lines you can just break the loop and come outside the loop and print finish and keep on executing if there is any more lines of program over here so that is about the concept of loop we are going to clarify it in the next video through a simple demo java program